Welcome to Cyrus Language Tech Channel. Uh, today I have an exciting head-to-head -head comparison for you. Uh, I'll be diving into the world of a speech recognition technology uh, and I'll be putting uh, two top uh, speech recognition engines uh, to the test. One is Microsoft Dictate and the other is uh, Google Voice Typing. Before we dive into uh, the comparison thing, let's learn what automatic speech recognition is. ASR is a technology that converts uh, the user's speech into text. So while you're interacting with the technology, the technology uh, simultaneously transcribes your spoken words into text. Uh, this is the blog I have created on my website, cyruslangtech.com. Uh, you, can, you can reach out to this page and consult uh, the content here to learn more about this technology, its application, uh, the same reading passage to two different ASR engines. This will help us understand how they work and pinpoint any challenges that we might encounter uh, when it comes to editing and formatting the transcribed text. So let's begin with uh, Microsoft Dictate. Uh, let me just pull up my target reading passage. All right, I have selected one reading passage from the British Council website, uh, learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. All right, I'm gonna <clears throat> drag my uh, target reading passage into the recording screen. or you can simply activate your uh, Microsoft Dictate by hovering your cursor over this microphone symbol and just click. I'll do my best uh, to go keyboard free. All right, let's get started. If you look around us at the things we have purchased at some point in our lives, comma, we would no doubt notice that not everything we own is being put to good use, colon. The thick woolen coat which we bought, which we thought looked trendy despite the fact that we live in a tropical country, comma, the smartphone that got put away when we bought ourselves the newest model, comma, the car that only gets used at the weekends, comma, or even the guest room in our house that somehow got turned into a rest, sorry, a storeroom. Not restroom. Period. New paragraph. Those underutilized items may seem useless to some, comma, but, but could be an asset to others, full stop. With the advent of the internet, comma, online communities have figured out a way to generate profit from the sharing of those underused assets, com period. So as you see, I just mixed uh, the two punctuation marks and uh, it needs some editing and formatting for sure, but at least the technology helps you uh, to, to generate uh, text uh, quite efficiently. So I'm going to continue. Where was I? Okay. Using websites and social media groups that facilitate the buying and selling of secondhand goods, comma, it is now easier than ever for peer-to-peer -peer sharing activities to take place, period. And this is known as the sharing economy, period. Let's do some editing formatting to see how Microsoft Dictate uh, functions when it comes to uh, formatting text in general. So I'm going to activate it again. Select assets. Select but. Delete. Delete comma, full stop. We want to delete the word storeroom. Let's see how it works. Select a storeroom. 
select storeroom. Select restroom. Delete. Now let's switch to Google Voice typing and uh, dictate the same text to see uh, how it works. Okay, I'm gonna pull up my reading passage again. Uh, for those who haven't used Google Voice typing before, you have to open a, a, a Google document, then hover your cursor over Tools, and uh, here you see Voice typing. And there's a microphone symbol appears on the screen. Also, you have the option of choosing the language. So by default, it's uh, on US English. You can choose any language you wish. Uh, let's get us started. If we look around us at the things we have purchased at some point in our lives, comma, we would no doubt notice that not everything we own is being put to good use, colon. The thick woolen coat, which we thought looked trendy despite the fact that we live in a tropical country, comma, the smartphone that got put away the, when we bought ourselves the, uh, the newest model, comma, the car that only gets used at the weekends, comma, or even the guest room in our house that somehow got turned into a restroom. Again, sorry, it's not a restroom, it's a storeroom. Full stop. Uh, new paragraph. New paragraph. New line. New line. Well, it appears that the command uh, for creating a new line or new paragraph uh, doesn't work properly. I'll try again. New line. New paragraph. Okay. So we have to resort to using our keyboard. Those underutilized items may seem useless to some comma, but could be an asset to others, period. With the advent of the internet, comma, online communities have figured out a way to generate profit from the sharing of those underused assets, period. Using websites and social media groups that facilitate the buying and selling of the secondhand goods, comma, it is now easier than over than ever for peer-to-peer -peer sharing activities to take place, period. And this is known as the sharing economy. Okay, uh, now what I'm gonna do is to put all the transcribed text with the Microsoft Dictate side to side with the text transcribed by Google Voice Typing to see uh, see how different they look okay let me just maximize my window okay although I have uh, done some editing to the text uh, transcribed by Microsoft dictate uh, there aren't so many this using is not capitalized uh, let's see select using Capitalize. Okay. Uh, as you can see, the text written by Google Voice Typing, I guess, needs more uh, editing and formatting compared to the one written by uh, Microsoft Dictate. When it comes to editing, uh, it can become a little bit of a headache. And, uh, but it's quite a good technology. It's good. It's a good tool for generating your first draft quite efficiently. All right, we are almost done with our dive into uh, two speech recognition engines: one Microsoft Dictate, and the other Google Voice Typing. We should remember that uh, understanding their nuances can unlock their full potential as a writing tool. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching.